Tamor K writes, hey guys, I love your show. I've been watching it nonstop for the past year. John rocks. So my question is that, what do you think will win the box office trophy for 2015? The Avengers 2 or the Batman vs. Superman movie? I mean, do you even give the new Batman vs. Super movie, Superman movie a chance to beat the Avengers? Thanks guys in advance and keep making awesome videos. It's a great question. We've addressed it before, but obviously the landscape has changed because the last time we kind of talked about, hey, you know, what could possibly win the box office in 2015? There was no new Superman with Batman movie announced yet. The landscape has changed. But remember, lest we forget, it ain't just those two movies that are opening. Here are some of the movies, just some of the right. movies opening in 2015, which I, I'm going to tell you right now, by far, is going to be the biggest box office year in history. I'm glad that I'm alive for yeah. 2015. Yeah. It's yeah. one of those, like, remember in the summer of 1982? Hey, this is going to beat that. Yeah. yeah. Now, here's some of the films opening in 2015. The new James Bond, Avatar 2. The new uh, Finding Nemo movie, Finding Dory. Avengers 2. Star Wars Episode 7. The Batman Superman film. Pirates of the Caribbean 5. Ant-Man. The last Hunger Games film. Warcraft. Assassin's Creed. The Fantastic Four reboot. Independence <laughs> Day 2. Jurassic Park 4. Kung Fu Panda 3. Mission Impossible 5. These are just some of the films <laughs> that are opening that Insanity! year. Insanity! So, okay, let's get to the question, what's going to win? It's oh, it's going to be a three horse race. I don't believe Avatar is going to be in the top three. <coughs> it's going to it's going to make a ton of money. I don't think it's going to be in the top three. I believe it's a three horse race. It's, it's Avengers two. It's Star Wars Episode seven, and it's going to be the new Batman Superman. Now I said this before. I will say it again. If they do Batman versus Superman right, and it's great, and people love it it will become the biggest box office movie in history. I, I believe that wholeheartedly. More than a Justice League would have been. Um, it, but they have to get it right. They have to start showing it to critics really far in advance and get that super big buzz going that they did. Remember Marvel did that with Avengers? Mm -hmm. That's why the Avengers opened so freaking huge because yeah. that positive wave of positive energy was already going for it. But that's all contingent on it being great. Will it be that great? I have my doubts that it'll be that great. Mm -hmm. So for now, I'm still going to guess Avengers 2. That's still my guess. So that's what I'm going with for now, but I reserve the right to change my mind later. Schnapp, yeah. what do you think? I, I have to go with my gut. Star Wars 7 is going to destroy everyone hmm. because not only is it Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Princess Leia back in the original trilogy, in the, you know, the further adventures of those guys, but it's also... <clears throat> It's a brand new uh, vision because George yeah. Lucas is kind of not as involved in it, and we know, like you know, he, you know, his prequels just weren't up to snuff. I don't think, right. to, especially to a lot of uh, fans of uh, the original Star Wars. So, I think if they nail it, and it's a really good film, like a really good film, and there's no no, no Jar Jar moments or little poopy smelly, you know, the <laughs> jokey. Aww, if they Jar -Jar. ruin it, then that's gonna ruin it. But if they if they stay true to the original Star Wars trilogy and then play it that way. I think all of the fans, young, middle-aged, old, were, are are going to are going to swamp that film, and it's going to beat every single other film. Well, I well. agree with you though. Superman, Batman. If that's really really good, I don't know yet. Avengers two will be number two. I'm sure. All right. I'd say it's between Avengers and Star Wars because I feel like people don't have the faith in Superman versus Batman because of Man of Steel. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs>